Hi, today I will be showing you that how you can set up Jailink ISC software on your machine for free. This one video will be enough for complete setup. We will be starting from the complete basics like how you will register for your Xilinx ISC application, from where you will download, which download option you should choose and what are the prerequisites to set up Xilinx ISC. And then we will go through the complete installation process step by step. And in the last, we will give you a quick demo so that you can start practicing your VSDL and Verilog SDL designs just after finishing this video. If you are trying to install Xilinx ISC on Microsoft Windows machine and if you are getting error, then we would be discussing them. So let's start. Our first step is to get the application set up on our machine. For this, we need to visit Xilinx official website. So simply write www.xilinx.com in the URL of your web browser. Now, once you hit enter, you will notice that you are redirected to amd.com official web page because AMD completed the acquisition of Xilinx in year 2022. So now AMD take care of this. So you can also use www.amd.com instead www.xilinx.com and you will see the same page here. Now go to the product step. Under the product step, you will see software, tools and app section. Click on this option. Now you will see the option of Vivado software under adaptive SOC and FPGA tools. Click on this Vivado software option. At this page, you will see the option of download now. Click on this option. If you don't see this download now option, just swipe this picture left or right from here. So this is the download option page and you will see Xilinx Vivado different version listed here, including the recent ones at the top and previous and archived versions as well. You will also see Xilinx ISC Archive option 2. We are looking for Xilinx ISC, so click on ISC Archive option from the list. Once you click on ISC Archive, you will see this 14.7 Windows version at the top. Click on this 14.7 Windows 10 link to expand this listing. Little details about the version. As you see, it is last updated by February 2020. Next, you will see the download link. It is named as 14.7 Windows 10. This would be a zipped file of Xilinx ISC setup around 15.5 GB in size. So simply click on this link to proceed next. Now, before you download, you are required to sign in for the services. So you have both the options, either sign in or create account. If you are already have the AMD account and login credential, you can use them for sign in. But if you are a first time user, then simply click on create account. This is AMD account creation page. You need to fill some of your basic details here, like your first name, your last name, your email ID, now preferred language, your location. In the last, just complete this simple CAPTCHA task and click on I am not a robot and then click on the submit button at the bottom. So this is the next page or next step to activate your account. Once you clicked on submit button, you should expect an email from AMD registration with the token number. This email would be something like this. Note that this access token is only valid for seven days. Normally this email is instant, but in case you don't see the email after a couple of minutes, then try give a refresh to your email ID. Also don't forget to check your spam folder. Sometimes they may land to the spam folder. Now, once you see the email and the access token, Copy your access token from this email and go back to your web browser. So this is the next step to activate your account. Simply paste your access token which you copied from your email and paste it here. Now give some password. Make sure you follow all the password rules mentioned below. Like your password must be at least 10 character long. It must have at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one number and one special character. Now confirm your password. Pass this simple CAPTCHA test or click on I am not a robot and click on activate account. If you didn't receive the activation email, 
then click on resend activation email and wait for the email now go back to this sign in page enter a credential your email address and your password and then click on sign in this is the main page and you logged in with your account now if you notice this is the same page we started which is www.amd.com and now we are repeating the steps once again click on products tab from the top now click on software tools and apps now click on vivado software click on download now option this is the download option page select the isc archive from the list click on the link 14.7 windows 10 under 14.x tab and expand this version details this is your download link named as 14.7 windows 10 dot chip click on this link to start download now you will be asked for a few more additional details so enter your first name enter your last name your email id would be auto filled give your company name or university name or most relevant information enter your address including address section location state etc scroll down little to this page give your city name enter your pin code enter your phone number and in the last your job function and finally click on download button that's it so once you click on download your download should automatically start so my download is started on my machine it may take some time as it is 15.5 gb in size Meantime, our Xilinx setup is downloading. Let's complete few prerequisites which are mandatory to install Xilinx ISC on Microsoft Windows machines. So there are two prerequisites are mandate before you start Xilinx ISC setup. First is virtualization which must be enabled in your BIOS and machine. And second prerequisite is setting virtual box on machine. We will go through them one by one. Xilinx ISC required virtualization to set up on Microsoft Windows operating system. So first we need to validate that virtualization is enabled on our machine. I will tell you two easy ways to check this. First you can check it from task manager. Second way is through command prompt. You can follow these steps. Press Windows and R. Type CMD, hit enter. Type system, info, hit enter. Scroll down to the hyper v requirements and you will see the virtualization enabled in firmware that is yes or no. So it is yes, enabled in my BIOS. Another way is uh, through the task manager. So open the task manager, jump into the CPU section under the performance tab. So here you will see the field virtualization that is enabled. So that means virtualization is enabled in my BIOS. If you found that virtualization is not enabled on machine, then first try to enable the virtualization and then only proceed to the next step. Virtualization need to be enabled from BIOS. So you can check your manufacturer how to enable virtualization on a specific manufacturer or brand or model. Also consider that your machine manufacturer and CPU support virtualization on your machine. I have a gigabyte motherboard and for that I have an option in BIOS to enable or disable SVM. By enable this option, I can actually allow virtualization on my machine. I will paste the link of a short video in description just in case you need to go through those steps. Now, once you confirm that virtualization is enabled on your machine, it's time to move on second prerequisite which is setting a virtual box on Windows machine. To set a virtual box, type www.virtualbox.org in your URL of web browser. VirtualBox is owned by Oracle. So this is completely safe to install from a trusted source. You will see this page. Now click on this big box saying download VirtualBox 7.0. Now you will see the option of Windows hosts. Click on this link. Once you click on this Windows host link, your download should start automatically. My download is started. Now let's wait for download to complete of both the applications. This application is just 100 mb in size, so this will be quick, but Xilinx ISC may take some time as that was around 16 GB in size. I will stop recording here and will be back once download is complete.
So both the setup is downloaded on my machine now. This is named as VirtualBox v7.0 and Xilinx ISC 14.7 Windows 10. So next step is to install the application and setting it up on your machine. So let's jump into the installation process. First we will run VirtualBox setup and then we will install Xilinx ISC. Okay, it's time to set up. First, we will install VirtualBox. So right click on it. Click on run as administrator. Okay, this is welcome page. Click on next. Click on next. Proceed with installation, yes. Proceed with installation now, yes. Install. Okay, make sure this is ticked. Now click on finish. So VirtualBox is now running. Okay, so this is Xilinx ISC setup. So this is zip folder. So first we will extract all the contains. I have already extracted. So now click on it. So this is setup. Right click on it. Click on run as administrator. Okay, so now it is starting. Okay, so this is welcome page. Simply click on next. Okay, accept the agreement. Click on I agree. I agree. Next. Okay, next. So this is installation directory. Leave this default. Give some project directory name. So I will click on this PC. Give some drive location C. Make a new folder. Give some name. I'm giving Xilinx ISC version 14. Point six five. Okay, now click on open. Okay, all good. Click on next. Yes, I wanted to create. Click a brief summary. Everything looks good. Click on install. Okay, so installation is now started. It may take some while, so I will fast forward this video. Meanwhile, it is installing. Please consider to subscribe, learn and grow community and press the bell icon. If this video is helpful, please like and share this video. Please comment if you face any difficulty while installing these Xilinx ISC setup. Okay, so now installation is completed. Click on OK. Okay, so all set. Now it's time for a quick demo. Okay, so this is our virtual machine and we will click on project navigator. Maximize this window, click on OK. Okay, first we are creating a new project. So click on file, new project, give some name. Suppose we are making a mux. So give some name, mux2 underscore 1. Now top level is SDL, click on next or write preferred language. So we are working on VSDL, I'll select VSDL, click on next. So brief summary, everything looks good, click on finish. Now it's time to create a new source, so we'll click on new source. Select a VSDL module because we are writing in a VSDL. So give some name, Mux2 underscore 1, click on next. So here we can give entity name, architecture name and the port list. So we have three inputs a b and select so these are input types so direction is in output is d out so d out direction is out okay all set click on next so this is a summary so this is project name this is source type source name entity name architecture name this is our port definition click on finish Okay, so it already created the body for our VSDL code. So library declaration is there. 
entity body is there and architecture body is also there we just need to write the behavior of our design so we'll write process a comma b comma select begin if select equals to zero then t out gets the value of a else d out gets the value of input b and if and process and and architecture which is already written so check syntax okay save yes okay all good now expand this little so now this is implementation we are going for the simulation so select the model now click on ISM simulator and click on simulate behavior model okay so this is simulation window first we will restart our simulation so these are our inputs so so suppose we are giving zero apply okay right click on B force constant give some value suppose one apply okay give some value force constant suppose I'm giving zero apply okay now run for one microsecond click on this button so this is the result so let's see so input a 0 b1 select is 0 because select is 0 then d out should get the value of a so which is 0 now change the input select so now we are giving 1 apply ok now again we need to run it ok let's make it fit to the window so this is the second run now the value of select is 1 that means the out should get the value of input b which is 1 so this is good okay so this is our project navigator now click on view rtlc matic okay click on the second option okay so this is our mux with three inputs and one output double click on it once again double click and here is our gate level structure of a multiplexer this is our VSGL code this is our simulation result and this is our RTLC matic if you found this video helpful please give it a like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates